Hi, Mr. Young here. In this session we're going to look at why demand curves can shift. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, can you just sketch a little supply and demand diagram that shows market equilibrium? Now hopefully you've got something that looks a bit like this. It's your standard supply and demand diagram. Here's your equilibrium market price because that this price supply equals demand. So you've got Q1 traded. Now what's happened here? demand curve has shifted out from D1 to D2. Demand's risen. Now because demand's risen, price goes up to P2. This is where the new level of demand equals supply. Now this price rise, uh, firms respond to that by increasing the quantity supplied to Q2. And this amount extra is traded. Now, here's the question. Can you give reasons to explain why this demand curve shifted from D1 to D2? Here's some ideas. Could be that consumers have got more income, they've got more spending power, and they're using part of that to buy more of this product. Or it could be that products they could buy instead, rival items, called substitutes, well there's less demand for them, so more demand for this product. Or complements. These are products consumed at the same time. Perhaps we're buying more of them and therefore buying more of this product to go with it. Finally, it could be that consumer taste has changed and that this item has become more fashionable. Okay, here's the key point. When I drew this demand curve, D1, I assumed that income, substitutes, complements, fashion, all these factors were being held constant. And in fact, the only thing that could change was price. The reason why this demand curve has shifted to the right? One of these items has changed. So, there we have it.